So, speaking of announcements on social media, the WWE randomly, out of nowhere today, said, Hey, in uh, 15 minutes, we're going to start announcing the teams for the Survivor Series. And they did. And over the course of the afternoon, they announced that the Raw men's team is going to be Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Rey Mysterio, and Dominic against Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, Xavier Woods, Sami Zayn, and Baron Corbin. So 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 Xavier's in but not Kofi. Yes. Hmm. Well, for whatever reason, I don't know if this plays into it or not, but they did they did a main event on SmackDown of uh of Jimmy Uso versus Xavier. Yeah. And the stipulation was that if Xavier won, Jimmy Uso would have to take a knee and acknowledge him as king. And if Jimmy won, Xavier would have to acknowledge Roman Reigns. If anybody didn't see SmackDown and you're listening to this and you expect that they abided by the stipulation, you're not paying attention. So, uh, Xavier won, and of course, nobody took a knee because the heels beat up Xavier and Kofi, and they made a specific point that they were taking out Kofi's knee. So, it may be that they're doing an injury angle for Kofi, or... Or, or, may, or maybe maybe he's legitimately injured. He could be injured. Um, I mean, he was in there doing spots, so, I mean before they, they took out his knee. But one way or the other, they, they did do the injury angle, so that might be why he's not in the match. Mm. And then for the women's elimination match, it is Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan, Carmella, and Zelina against SmackDown, Sasha, Shayna, Shotzi, Natty, and Aaliyah. The SmackDown Aaliyah. rosters. Oh, my God. Aaliyah. Yeah, I mean, I saw that, but... Um, yeah, that, that name stood out to me because... Has she been on television at all? Well, she was on SmackDown on Friday. Okay, and literally, I did, not watch, I did not watch the Friday show yet. Literally, all she did was Jeff Hardy was doing an interview, and uh, before they interviewed him, he was talking to Aaliyah, and then Aaliyah walked away for the interview, but then he followed her, and like, that was it. That was the entire segment. I mean, there was no... Uh, match no big introduction she was like a a tertiary character here on this show and now she is in the women's elimination match ahead of tony storm who they're they obviously Dude, she's give, vanished off the face of the earth who they've obviously completely given up on yes um all right <laughs> yeah i'll tell you what you know all those times when like somebody like loses on these shows um, I mean, like, there's ways, like, sometimes, like, like when, when Carmella loses, like, you know, they're pushing Carmella, right? You know, it's like, that's not, you know, whatever. They, they, they'll use her loss to push her over the person who won. But when somebody just loses, like Tony Storm did to Zelina Vega, um, and they just go, oh, you know, don't worry about it. It's like, I would say worry about it because history's shown that, uh, it, it's, it means something and, and, yeah, they just, uh, they've definitely given up on, I don't know what the deal is. I mean, but whatever, you know, it's like, it's Vince. What can I say? You know, Vince will, Vince decides and, and everything. I'm surprised about Aaliyah, though. It just surprises me just because, I mean, when she was in NXT, she was not a standout there. She was not one of the better women wrestlers there. You know, a Tony Storm is like so much better, but you know, more charismatic. So, uh, but whatever. The entire Raw team was on SmackDown before the draft. Now they are fighting for Raw. Yeah. Well, there's actually a lot of people in these in these matches um, that were. On the other brand <laughs> a month ago or whatever it was when they before they had the draft yeah hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com if you sign up today you get access to every single one of them the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week you can podcast them listen to them on the road at work Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.